So let's talk about two diseases and the specifics about why changing to a plant-based diet uh, improves uh, the uh, outlook for these folks. So type two diabetes, uh, here's, you know, when we hear diabetes, ooh, sugar, 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 got high sugar, don't eat sugar, no bad carbs. The problem isn't the sugar, it's the fats. Uh, the sugar, oh, it absolutely goes up to high levels, but that's the tail of the dog. That's just the effect of eating a high fat diet. Um, uh, here you see a muscle cell, um, our preferential uh, fuel is glucose, sugar. We are sugar burning organisms. Our mitochondria are looking for glucose molecules. Normally when glucose shows up in the blood after you eat an apple, uh, the pancreas senses it, puts out insulin, insulin activates the insulin receptors and allows the sugar into the muscle cell to be burned. Yay. That's the way it's supposed to work. But you've been eating the standard Western diet and keeping the blood fatty month after month, year after year, this fat works its way into the muscle cells. You can see it. I'll show you in a second. It's called intramyocellular lipid. This is fat in the muscle cell. Uh, this is not, and it gums up the insulin receptors. This is not theoretical. Here's what it looks like under the light microscope. This is striated muscle like on your arm uh, and all this black stuff here. This is fat in the muscle cell. This is intramyocellular lipid messing up the enzyme systems, blocking insulin from working. This is how it looks under the light microscope. Here's what it looks like under the electron microscope. Again, fat in the muscle cell should not be there. This is what happens when you eat a high fat diet. This is why so many people develop type two diabetes cause, uh, well, I'll show you why. The, for the science buffs in the audience, here's the way it's supposed to work in that uh, here's those sugar molecules. Normally when uh, sugar's in the blood, and the, uh, uh, and the pancreas puts out insulin. Uh, insulin activates two kinase enzymes, this K here, it's a serine kinase, and this K down here. And these two active enzymes activate the GLUT4 mechanism, and that allows the, uh, uh, the uh, muscle cells to pull sugar uh, molecules into the muscle to burn it. Yay, that's the way it's supposed to work. But if all your cells are loaded up with that intramyocellular lipid uh, and the mitochondria are full of it, uh, then as those lipids, though the intramyocellular lipid oxidizes, it generates free radicals, reactive oxygen species here, and ceramides. And these molecules interfere with these enzymes. So insulin knocks on the door, but nobody answers. The GLUT4 mechanism does not come up. And as a result, the sugar stays out in the bloodstream, rises to high levels, causes all sorts of problems. But the problem isn't from eating too much sugar, it's the fat in the bloodstream uh, and it works its way into the muscle and liver cells. Uh, if you want more documentation, uh, do some searches on intramyocellular lipid and insulin resistance, you'll see uh, there's a solid mechanism uh, behind this, uh, uh, this common phenomenon. Now, doesn't have to be like that. Here's a teaching aid I use my patients. I say, look, all this fat on your, from your standard Western diet is clogging up the insulin receptors on the inside by, by neutralizing those uh, kinase enzymes. But also, if the person is obese, uh, they have uh, their abdominal visceral fat inside their abdomen is releasing uh, molecules called inflammatory cytokines like interleukin-1, interleukin-6, they interfere with the insulin receptors from the outside. So no wonder so many of our obese patients develop type 2 diabetes. They're clogged up on the inside of the insulin receptor, interfered with on the outside. So it's a, you know, it's a common condition, not, uh, not incomprehensible. The good news is it's reversible. If one stops running all that fat through the bloodstream uh, and adopts a diet based on whole plant foods, you know, this young woman here, as long as she's eating a whole food plant-based diet, will never become obese. She will never clog up her insulin receptor. She's never going to develop type 2 diabetes. And raising a child on a plant-based diet is one of the greatest gifts you can possibly give them. Another subject for another lecture. 
But if someone has type 2 diabetes and adopts these, uh, uh, this kind of eating style, it's, it's more glorious than just the tomatoes and broccoli here, but it's symbolic for a whole food plant-based diet. The disease reverses. How? Well, the fat that's in the muscle cell, when suddenly there's this a nice, clean, sugar-rich uh, fuel coming in, by some, hmm, these stored fats, let's burn them for energy. And the intramyocellular lipid is metabolized for energy, so it disappears. And as the belly fat starts melting away, those inflammatory cytokines, they fade away. So suddenly the insulin receptors are free to work, and they do and suddenly the person needs less and less insulin. You can finally stop their insulin and get them off the metformin. It's a reversible disease. I wish somebody had told me about this, uh, but I'm telling you, I'm telling the medical students, <clears throat> Dr. Barnard and others have done studies showing clearly that a low-fat plant-based diet is even more effective than the American Diabetes Association diet. You get a better reduction in hemoglobin A1C. They lose more body weight. Their lipids improve more. Their kidney function improves. It really is the definitive treatment for type 2 diabetes. And we all have patients like Jim here who used to look like this, 100 pounds overweight, went whole food plant-based, dropped the weight, dropped the diabetes. Now he's running marathons and he's off his insulin. So yay, hope for people with diabetes, hope for the professionals treating these people with diabetes. You can watch these people get healthiest, one of the most exciting transformations in medicine. To say those words, stop your insulin, you don't need it anymore. What a gift to help your patients achieve. Mm -hmm.